The Harry Potter film series, globally celebrated for bringing J.K. Rowling's magical world to vivid life, is equally esteemed for its ensemble cast of accomplished actors, who with compelling performances have left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. But it's with a sense of poignant nostalgia and respect that fans and fellow actors remember the numerous revered contributors who have since passed away. Join Facts First as we take you through the lives of the many Harry Potter actors who have died. Sir Michael Gambon, born October 19, 1940, in Cabra, Dublin, was a revered actor whose remarkable career encompassed theater, television, and film. With a diverse repertoire ranging from contemporary to classical roles, he displayed extensive range and versatility. In the world of Harry Potter, Michael Gambon was renowned for his portrayal of Albus Dumbledore, taking over the role after the passing of Richard Harris after the second film, appearing in six of the Harry Potter films, from The Prisoner of Azkaban to The Deathly Hallows Part II. His interpretation of Dumbledore was instrumental in conveying the headmaster's multifaceted personality and pivotal role in the series, contributing significantly to the depth and richness of the wizarding world. Sadly, Gambon passed away after a bout of pneumonia on on September 27, 2023, at age 82. Robbie Coltrane Robbie Coltrane, born March 30, 1950, in Rutherglen, Scotland, was an acclaimed actor and author renowned for his diverse roles in film and television. He had a commanding presence and is perhaps best known for his role as Dr. Eddie Fitz Fitzgerald in the British TV series Cracker. In the enchanting realm of Harry Potter, Coltrane was beloved for his portrayal of Rubius Hagrid, the keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts, and one of Harry's most loyal friends. He appeared in all eight films of the series, and his performance as Hagrid was marked by a heartwarming blend of warmth, humor, and emotional depth. He effectively conveyed Hagrid's larger-than-life personality and gentle giant nature, making significant contributions to the portrayal of the magical world on the big screen. Sadly, he died October 14, 2022, of a variety of ailments which contributed to multiple organ failure. Richard Harris Richard Harris, born in 1930 in Limerick, Ireland, enjoyed a multifaceted career as an actor, singer, and film director, earning acclaim for roles in films like Camelot and A Man Called Horse. In the world of Harry Potter, he tenderly embodied Albus Dumbledore, the wise and benign headmaster of Hogwarts, in the first two films of the series. His portrayal of Dumbledore was marked by a gentle demeanor and kind voice, which endeared him to fans of the series. Sadly, Harris succumbed to Hodgkin's disease October 25, 2002. Alan Rickman Alan Rickman, born in 1946 in London, was renowned for his compelling performances and distinctive voice. Rickman, with a career spanning stage, television, and film, is celebrated for a wide range of roles, including the sophisticated villain Hans Gruber in Die Hard and the tormented lover in Sense and Sensibility. In the Harry Potter series, he masterfully portrayed Severus Snape, brilliantly balancing the character's icy exterior with subtle hints of vulnerability and depth, leaving a lasting impression on fans. Rickman battled cancer privately, passing away January 14, 2016, leaving behind a legacy of multifaceted performances. John Hurt John Hurt, the revered and highly versatile English actor, was born January 22, 1940, in Chesterfield, England. He had an illustrious career spanning six decades, encompassing film, television, and voice acting. His distinctive voice and wide range of roles earned him significant acclaim, including notable performances in films like The Elephant Man and Midnight Express. In the world of Harry Potter, John brought the character of Mr. Ollivander to life, appearing first in The Philosopher's Stone and later reprising his role in The Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. As the enigmatic wand maker, Hurt contributed depth and mystique to the series' magical universe, rendering Mr. Ollivander a memorable and intriguing character. John Hurt passed away January 25, 2017, after battling pancreatic cancer. Richard Griffiths Richard Griffiths, a distinguished English actor, was born July 31, 1947, in Thornaby-on-Tees, North Yorkshire. Griffiths built an extensive career spanning film, television, and stage with noteworthy roles in productions like Withnal and I and The History Boys, earning critical acclaim for his versatile performances. In the Harry Potter film series, he portrayed Vernon Dursley, Harry's overbearing and unsympathetic uncle. He appeared in The Philosopher's Stone, The Chamber of Secrets, and The Order of the Phoenix 
as well as Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. His portrayal of Vernon Dursley provided a significant contrast to the magical world of Harry Potter, highlighting the mundane and narrow-minded world from which Harry originates. Griffiths passed away on March 28, 2013, due to complications following heart surgery. Roger Lloyd Pack Roger Lloyd Pack, born in 1944 in London, England, was a beloved actor recognized for his portrayal of Colin Trigger Ball in the BBC series Only Fools and Horses. He had a prolific career in television, film, and stage with a notable ability to portray a range of characters. In The Goblet of Fire, he played Barty Crouch Sr., adding a layer of authoritarian complexity to the role. His character is a strict adherent to rules, but is later revealed to have made morally questionable decisions adding a nuanced layer to the film. Lloyd Pack died of pancreatic cancer January 15, 2014. Elizabeth Spriggs Elizabeth Spriggs, born in 1929 in Buxton, had a distinguished acting career, winning acclaim for her diverse roles in theater, film, and television. She was a respected member of the Royal Shakespeare Company and appeared in various productions. In The Philosopher's Stone, she portrayed the Fat Lady, the guardian of Gryffindor's tower's entrance, bringing a theatrical and comic flair to the role. Spriggs passed away July 2, 2008. Eric Sykes Eric Sykes, born in 1923 in Oldham, was a multifaceted entertainer, excelling as an actor, screenwriter, director, and author. With a career spanning over five decades, he's remembered for his roles in The Others and The Goon Show. In The Goblet of Fire, Sykes played Frank Bryce, a muggle gardener who becomes a casualty of Lord Voldemort's return to power. Despite limited screen time, Sykes's portrayal added emotional depth to the film. He passed away July 4, 2012. Dave Legano Dave Legano, born in 1963 in Marylebone, London, was a versatile actor and a professional mixed martial artist. With roles in films like Snatch and The Last Legion, Dave was known for his imposing presence and versatility. In the Harry Potter series, he played the brutal werewolf Fenrir Greyback, instilling fear and menace with his performance. He was found dead on July 6, 2014 in Death Valley, California due to heat-related issues. Robert Knox Robert Knox, a promising young actor born in 1989 in Kent, had his career tragically cut short. He played Marcus Belby in The Half-Blood Prince, a role showcasing his potential as an actor. He brought a friendly and enthusiastic spirit to the character, making his brief appearance memorable. He was fatally stabbed May 24, 2008, while protecting his younger brother during a confrontation outside a bar. Now it's time to hear from you. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Let us know in the comments section below.